Hey guys, Mr. Wee Gav here, and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 Xbox 360 games of all time. Um, these are actually my personals, I don't think these are the best ones out there, but these are my personal favourites, so let's get started. At number 10 we've got Borderlands. Uh, the thing I love about this game is that, although it's a first person shooter, it uh, adds in the effects of being a cartoon game, even though it looks realistic with the blood. And um, I just really like the whole open world idea of it. Um, a lot of people compare it to games such as Fallout and just I love the idea of the story and it's a great game. Next on the list at number 9 we've got the Orange Box. This game um, consists of uh, Half-Life, um, all the episodes, Portal and um, Team Fortress. Um, all these games are great and uh, they, they're, they're really weird how they've put them all together but it works. Um, if you're a fan of um, online games such as Half-Life, um, uh, sort of cartoon-like or puzzle games such as Portal, I would definitely uh, recommend picking this up. It's a great buy. Next on the list is Gears of War. The um, thing I liked about this was um, not the online because um, I didn't really mind about the online to be honest it was more the campaign because this was one of the first um, good campaigns that came out for the 360 and uh, I just really enjoyed it, you know, great story um, I had fun doing it in co-op um, if you can get this I would definitely recommend picking it up it's a must have Xbox 360 game um, there's just um, unlimited um, amounts you can do online on it and it's really good next we have Dead Rising at number 7 um, the thing I liked about this was um, I'm a fan of Dawn of the Dead and it just took the idea of it, um, how you can pick up just anything in the mall and use it as a weapon. Um, although I'm not a fan of um, comedy, this was a really funny game when it came to novelty items and it was just fun going around the mall with your friend uh, smashing up um, zombies with different novelty items and uh, it was a great game. At number 6 we have Mirror's Edge, um, this game was probably the first uh, free running game um, except Assassin's Creed and um, it done it uh, really good um, the graphics were just intense, they were so good um, a lot of people didn't like it because they felt that it was too short and a bit bland but I really didn't like the fact that it had um, not that much colour in the buildings, I just felt that it was really pale and looked like a, a government city and that had just been taken over and you didn't have the right choice and um, also the gameplay itself, the controls, um, I thought they were going to be a bit clunky but it just turned out that they were just so good and like smooth and it just let you run around and it felt like you were really in the game. At number 5 we have Dead Space. Um, I felt this game was um, pretty scary at times. Um, it felt like Bioshock, at, um, just with the isolation and when you're on your own and uh, you never know what's going to come out of a vent or anything and it's all dark and that's what I really enjoyed about this game because you were always on your edge of your seat and you didn't know what was coming next. And just the weapons done it for me as well, The just the range of them and uh, how you didn't just shoot a zombie and it died. It was proper taking off limbs and it was just great fun. Next we have Fallout 3. Um, I, I didn't really like this game to start but then it turned out that um, the more I got into it um, the more I enjoyed it and uh, I just felt that the graphics were so good. It's a first person or a third person combined with a strategy game and you have to really think uh, when you're playing and um, not just pick stuff up and eat it. You need to um, conserve your energy and just need to make sure that you make all the right choices and karma is a big um, aspect of this game and uh, the more karma you have the more people like you the less the less people like you next we have Fable 2 um, I picked this up um, when it first came out and I'd never played Fable but um, 1 before and uh, I just found myself really enjoying it, just the whole idea of like the um, fantasy world and um, I really enjoyed the um, the sort of um, cutscenes and um, they just were very movie like and I felt this was, this helped make the story more realistic 
and uh, I just enjoyed the whole how you could use magic and ranged and melee weapons. It's just a great combination. Next, at number two, we have Halo Reach. Um, I was a really big fan of Halo 3, and uh, I just picked this one up the day it came out and found myself enjoying it. The campaign alone is just enough to do it for anybody. It just the uh, range of enemies and weapons and just the new ways you can take people out assassinating. But also, not just that, the online for me was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't enjoy um, how there wasn't as much things to do um, in custom games like Halo 3, but Firefight made up for that and uh, I'm really happy with the game and uh, I would recommend getting this definitely. And my top game out of everyone on the 360 is Bioshock. This game just blew my mind. I bought it the first week it came out. I just could not believe the graphics and the whole idea of the story. It just really made it um, intense for me. And also just found out that like during the campaign, the whole idea of like when you find new plasmids and you upgrade and just the whole idea of being underwater and the city being ruled and you have to try and stop the man and then the twist at the end for me although it made me really angry it made me really happy because I would finally completed the game and it was just such like a rush so I would recommend picking this up if you haven't already played Bioshock it's a definite must buy um, basically you're in an underwater city in a plane crash, the only sole survivor. You come across this city and it's just mayhem. People have been overrun by drug abuse and it's just crazy. You meet up with this man called Atlas and he d tells you to go and kill the owner and you follow him and then at the end, like I say, there's a twist. This game is great and all these games are great so I would recommend every single one of them. So for more um, reviews, walkthroughs, achievements, etc., stay tuned to Mr. We Gav. Thanks.